And, but the vice presidents agree among the multiple other things that have happened in the meeting, and I appreciate it, uh, agreed to um, uh, lead our diplomatic effort and work with those nations to accept re the returnees and enhance migration enforcement at their borders, at their borders. We're already talking with Mexico about that. She's already done that. We're going to be dealing with a full team now that we have to be able to deal with the problem here at home, but also to deal with it now in terms of in-country. And I can think of nobody who uh, who is better qualified to do this than a former — this is a woman who ran the second largest attorney general's office in America after the U.S. — after the United States attorney general in the state of California, and has uh, done a great deal of not only human rights, but also uh, fighting organized crime in the process. So. It's not her full responsibility and job, but she's leading the effort, because I think the best thing to do is to put someone who, when he or she speaks, they don't have to wonder about, is that where the president is? When she speaks, she speaks for me, doesn't have to check with me. She knows what she's doing, and I hope we can move this along. But, so, Madam Vice President, thank you. I gave you a tough job, and you're, you're smiling. <laughs> But there's no one better capable of trying to organize this. Place. Well, thank you, Mr. President, and for having the confidence in me. And there's no question that this is a challenging situation. Uh, as the President has said, there are many factors that lead President to leave these countries. And um, while we are clear that people should not come to the border now, um, we also understand that we will enforce the law and um, that we also, because we can chew gum and walk at the same time, must address the root causes that, uh, that cause people to make the trek, as the President has described, to come here. And I look forward to engaging uh, in diplomacy with uh, government, with private sector, with civil society, and, and the leaders of each in El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras uh, to strengthen democracy and the rule of law and ensure shared prosperity in the region. Uh, we will collaborate with Mexico and other countries throughout the Western Hemisphere. And as part of this effort, we expect that we will have collaborative relationships to accomplish the goals the President has and that we share. I also look forward to working with members of the Congress um, who I think share our perspective on the need to address root causes for the migration that we've been seeing. And um, needless to say, the work will not be easy, uh, but it is important work. It is work that we um, demand and the, and the people of our countries, I believe, need to help stem the tide that we have seen.